So hello everyone, this is a pharmacy software. This will aid in inventory, in stock, payroll, attendance of um, employees. So first, you log in. This is for safety and security to know who is using. Then here you can see the interface already. You can see, you can check on your employees, inventory, more options, expenses, and invoices. So for example, um, there's a customer and you're a single pharmacy. So you click in this SI solo with sales inventory. So this code here is to track who is in charge for today, like who, which pharmacy assistant. And if you want to search for a product, go to this product box and you just search in what medications the customer or patient wants to buy. And it pops out here. You can see the price, the stock on hand, and the storage of where the medication is. And once you enter it, you just click how much the patient wants to buy. And it shows here on screen. If he wants to buy another medication, just search again and it will easily show you results. And then you enter the amount and you can see there's many options here. If you click F3, it will finalize the transaction. And then you just put in how the amount the patient is handling you, the amount of money, and then it will even give you the change right away. And then it will print it automatically. We are not printing it. And you can see other options here, like just click F9, F8, and F11 for discounts right away. You don't need to compute for it manually. So aside from that, we can also check in the reports here. You can check the sales. So there will be sales report. You can choose either daily, month and year, or yearly. So for example, we want to check our daily report. Just check in the day to day. And then you can even see which employee sales report. And then you can see your sales report as of today. You can check the price, the total sales. You can even see your capital and your total profit. And even the cash on the drawer. And next, you can even see which products got sold today. And this report, you can either print it or export to Excel or PDF. So aside from that, we can also have a purchase report here. Either the purchases you bought today for the month and year or for yearly. If you want to check your daily report, it's the same with the sales report. You can even check in the product. And then you can see your purchases as of today. So how much stuff you spent for your purchases and the products you bought. So you can again export the PDF and Excel and print it as a hard file. Then next you can even track here your saleable products, so the top 20 saleable products. So which products are the ones that's mostly bought in the pharmacy? You can see here Biogesic, the number one, and all the other medications. And you can gener generate a report for it. Here, if we redirect you, you can check the date and the list of all the medications. After that, you can still export it, PDF or Excel, and then print it. We also have a list of products. So this one is the list of all the products in your pharmacy. So it will be easier to track down your products inside the pharmacy. So this will be a long list because it's a list of all your products. So here you can see the prices of your products. It will be easier, it will be convenient to keep track of these products. Can either export again and print it as a hard copy. Okay, so you can also even have uh, purchase and inventory here. So for the invoice, like if you want to add a supplier for your pharmacy, like when you're adding a new supplier, sample Pfizer, you add in the company information here so that it will save the data of your suppliers and you don't need to keep 
have a hard time in keeping track of them or in contacting them. So here the basic information of the company supplier. You can even put the contact details here. Then add it and it will store that information in the program. You can see here your purchase if you will purchase something. And you can see the shipping even. If, and there's also even incoming shipment. So for example, we would like to purchase something. We just click add new purchase. So what medications do you want to buy? And also here we can choose from which supplier. For example, Pfizer, the one we added earlier. You can even choose the shipping for convenience already. Makes it easier. So for example, we are going to buy Lyrica. So we only have three left. So how much do we want to add from that? How much are we going to buy from the supplier? For let's say 10. You can see the amount you're going to buy and then the order price. And it will reflect in the purchase products on what products you want to buy. For example, you want to add Lipitor. How much Lipitor will you buy? Let's say 20 since we only have two stock left. So again, it's the order price and then it will reflect in the purchase products. So if you want to finalize your order, you press home to finalize the purchase. If you want to finalize, you click yes. And then it will redirect you to this print sheet. Here you can see the products you are about to purchase, its order price, and then the total sum of your purchases. So you can either export again, to Excel or PDF and then print it for a hard copy. If you want to clear it, it will be cleared. Then next, you can even check the incoming shipment. Like, oh, you can see that there's stocks coming. So if you've already received the stocks, you just click on it to know that you've already received the product. So, products received successfully. So, aside from that, we can even have inventory here. So, here you can track in your inventory and see there's also a legend here where you can see all the products you have in your inventory. So, green is for nearly expired or expired products. And red is to for low stock. So here you can monitor your stock. So you will know when to refill, when to purchase again. And to make sure your products are still not expired. Okay, if you want, there's even a medical book here. So you can just search the product name like Lipitor Atervastatin. And then it will show you a guide. So what is this medication for? So usually, if there's no software in the pharmacy, we have to search for that manually using a book. But with this, it will be faster and easier to check on the type of medication and what it's used in case a patient asks for more information about that drug. So as you can see, we already have 20 additional stocks since we bought to purchase earlier. You can even see the return or recalled or expired products here. Also for Lyrica, we bought earlier, we added 10 more. So now we have 13 in our stock. Then next is we can even check in our expenses and financial statements. So expenses, cash advance for employees and payables. So here we check in financial. So we can check in the financial statement either monthly or yearly for easy tracking. If monthly, you just choose the what month you want to check for the financial statement. So once you click view, it will show you your financial statement. So your total expenses, your net loss, uh, the things you need to pay for your employees, their full health, and eBig, SSS, and then your purchases. You can see it all here, the list of products you've purchased. And 
still print it for hard copy. So lastly, you can also enter or save in description of patients. You can add a prescription book. So here you can enter the details of what's in the prescription of the patient. So this will be for easier tracking, easy monitoring of the patient's medications too. And if um, FDA's, if the FDA would like to check your prescription book, this would serve as a backup copy if ever the hard copies get lost. So this would make it easier to store data of prescription. You can take a picture of the prescription and upload it here so that you can store it in one place and it's all in this program. So what's the prescription for? Like what's inside the prescription? You can see it here for easy tracking. Or if ever a patient wants to know their prescription orders again or their medications, they can ask you and you can check it here that oh, in their prescription, this is the medication that they've had before and that they need. So here for senior citizens, prescription, and then you can view it the past prescriptions of patients, view them here, and then you can generate a report for it. You can see it here, the medication base, see the name of the um, healthcare provider, their medications, and the remarks, and you can print it out for a copy. That's for the pharmacist file. So technology will make things easier and helpful. And that is all. Thank you.